Hello guys and welcome to a brand new edition of the Joe Ross 2K9 channel. Um, sorry I haven't really been uploading videos lately. Um, I was in hospital in September and I just haven't had any access, full access to the internet. Um, hence the reason why um, I, w I wasn't able to upload any videos. So to make that up, um, we're going to be doing three reviews today. Um, and also we're going to be discussing everything that's going on with WWE. The first thing that we're going to review is very similar to WWE, um, in fact it is WWE, it is the brand new WWE 13 game. This game has to be probably the worst game that I have. I know um, it's very surprising that I would say that because I am a major WWE fan. The fact of the matter is this game is shit. Um, it's, to be brutally honest with you, the only good thing is that you can look at the Attitude Era, but even that, you can't really do major, um, things, you know, like most of it is cutscenes and, you know, and it's really annoying that you have to fill all the bonuses and, you know, it's really pointless and, you know, the, and this is what I said about FIFA 13, and this is why I refuse to get football games, because they are exactly the same as previous games there isn't that much of a change I would usually get FIFA once every four years you know getting it every year it's completely the same and you know I honestly thought WWE was taking a major turn you know um, a WWE 12 was fantastic it was a complete jump completely different from you know Smackdown vs Raw 2011 this game is very similar um, if any of you are expecting to do any um, current storylines, um, you know, such as the current storylines, and, you know, this game is heavily based on the Attitude Era. Yes, that's good, but it can get a very annoying at times. Um, honestly, this game, I was very disappointed in. Some of the characters I'm not even too happy about, you know, most of it is based on the Attitude Era. Granted, you do get major characters. You know, I hate that you have to buy bonuses, you know, such as Stone Cold Steve Austin. You don't have to do it with this. Um, you get Stone Cold Steve Austin and you get Rock. Um, I think it's 1997 to 1999. And then you get the modern Rock. And then you get, you know, you get, you know, the full DX crew. But the gameplay isn't very different now they have a new system called an OMG system um, it, it's exactly the same as you know uh, in 2010 they had cutscenes you know whenever you had like a, a special meter for a finisher and you were in a certain object you know you could do that um, they're just trying to make it different um, the only really good thing is that if you have you need basically both super heavyweight guys that are in the ring if you get them on the top rope you just hit I think you need to get three finishers and if you get the three finishers then you actually end up breaking the ring um you end up breaking the ring and yeah so WWE 13 very disappointing I was very very disappointed in it all together and uh yeah very disappointed in it next game we're going to be reviewing is Assassin's Creed 3. This game is a very good game. Um, granted, and I'm not going to, by the way, there's no spoilers in this, um, but the ending is pretty shit. Um, it, it's terrible. Uh, the ending is pretty bad, but, you know, in regards to the gameplay, it is very, very good. Um, you know, you get to play Connor in this, and I think, you know, it it it, sh it shows you a lot of the background history between America and the British and what you know what actually happens you know in that historical period. This is a really good game. I would recommend to get it now. Um, it was forty quid at the time. I think it's now down. To, you, you could get lucky and get it for twenty five pound, maybe thirty quid in Arcus. Um, but this is a really really good game. I would recommend you know. But, you know, don't get it too dear. I would wait for a wee bit and, you know, make sure it's nice and cheap and then get it. But if if there is a deal on in this game or it's pre-owned, I would recommend you to get this. I got it brand new. Um, and I thought it was amazing. Now, I don't have online 
play so I can't use any online play on it but what I've been told is that the online play in Assassin's Creed 3 is pretty good um, so that's basically you know Assassin's Creed 3 it's an amazing game I love it uh, by the way the storyline is pretty long um, it, it's massively long uh, you will be added for a few weeks and you know but also if you're gonna play this game make sure you collect all the collectibles and you know make sure you get all that don't drive straight into the storyline because it will may you know might ruin it you know um, and also there's certain things you need to unlock as well so Assassin's Creed 3 is a pretty decent game now my best game for this Christmas the best game and I was really unsure about this game simply because I heard a lot of bad reviews about it um, this game this game probably the best game that I got this Christmas is Hitman Absolution Hitman Absolution quite frankly is an amazing game granted it is going away from you know a lot of people are very concerned that Hitman now is you know it's not based you know on, on you know the past games there is a lot of differences in it but you know I just say this it has to get in with modern times um, it's a fantastic game and you know the storyline in it is absolutely fantastic you will not get bored of the storyline um, now there is a few things that is a problem with this game first of all the upgrades are completely useless it says you get upgrades but they are completely useless. You don't actually physically use them in the game. Also, um, this game really is loosely based on Hitman actually not having the equipment that he is used to. Um, you use his, uh, you know, his, um, you know, the guns that he has. You know, the silencers. They, are, you do lose them quite a lot, and you know it, it, it's not till I think it's the middle. You use it in the start of the game, and then you have to give them away. And then, you know, it's not till really the end of the game you get to use them again. Um, but it is usually based on the environment that you're using. Um, you know, such as, you know, uh, knives, screwdrivers. And I think maybe that's, it, it's, a, it's a risky choice, but I personally think it worked out well. The storyline is pretty amazing. Um, there is a, uh, a cameo appearance. Um, there is a cameo appearance by it now. If you don't want to hear the cameo appearance of who it is in Hitman, just turn the video off now and just try and fast forward it for a bit. Um, in the cameo appearance, uh, Kane and Lynch are in it, and Kane is in a bar, and you basically you can either fight with him or you can beat the shit of him. Uh, also, Lynch is in in a shooting range, but and also Kane's in it again. You've ever seen the signature? Um, the, the, you know that a lot of people know from Cain Lynch is the writing of the ladder when he's in jail. You actually climb through the drain pipe and you actually get the same actually writing the ladder, um, which gives clues that Cain Lynch three might be coming out. Um, side note: If Cain Lynch was gonna come back, get the fucking gameplay sorted. Cain Lynch one and Cain Lynch two. The gameplay was absolutely shit. The storyline was brilliant. It was fantastic. The storyline was absolutely brilliant, but the the you know the gameplay was fucking ridiculous. And I think they need to take some of that from Hitman and put it in. Not so much a sneaking about, but you know the um, hard gunfire, you know, and just make it more better. Gameplay was shite. I played the the the, the last two. Completely ridiculous. I hated it. Um, first one was good. The reason why I would buy Cain Lynch is simply because of the storyline. Storyline should it should be in a movie, never mind a game. But anyway, I'm getting a sidetrack from that. So that's my three games that I'm going to review today. Now I'm going to be discussing John Cena. I mean, I have to. I mean, I haven't put on YouTube in ages. I'm kind of going to have to. Yeah, that's this guy. Um, you know, it's 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 it's. it's I can't believe that John Cena got Superstar of the Year. I'm still baffled by that. First of all, John Cena has lost his money in the bank. He's the very first person to lose, to cash in and lose his money in the bank briefcase. He's been defeated numbers of times by CM Punk. Um, he's he's got he, he got his ass handed to him by Brock Lesnar. Granted, he got a fluky win. Um, 
what else? He got beat by the Rock at WrestleMania. Um, you know, one of the worst years, and even one of the worst years, John Cena still gets Superstar of the Year. Let's, I mean, CM Punk should have had it. You know, CM Punk longest reign, it, it, it approaching now longest reign in WWE champion, um, of all time. You know, it, he, he's he's been in the he's WWE champion for a long, 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 long time, and. No, he's gonna face the rock and all. You know, he should have got superstar of the year. I just don't get it. Um, the second thing I'm gonna be talking about WWE is who do I think will win the Royal Rumble? Um, I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna say Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan got completely screwed last WrestleMania. I think he needs to win the Royal Rumble, and I, I would. I don't know whether they might have a rematch with him. Um, maybe I think Sheamus might win Elimination Chamber, and they might, you know. Get them to you know in another match. I'm not too sure, um, but there ha it has been confirmed that the Rock will be at the Elimination Chamber. Now whether or not he's got the title or not is something that needs to be beholded. There is various rumours that he will be from. He's going to be in Raw now um, this week on Monday. Um, whether or not he will be from Royal Rumble to Elimination Chamber to WrestleMania. I w if I had a made prediction, he will be at WrestleMania. Um, it has been confirmed because you just see the poster and he's one of the... Um, it kind of shows him one of, you know, of the Elimination Chamber. So I can see him being in the Elimination Chamber. Um, if The Rock was to do that, that will be his very first Elimination Chamber match. Um, would, should The Rock win the WWE title? No, um, no, a lot of people are going to be yelling, what the fuck, what? Let's face the facts, The Rock has not, the whole point of the WWE Championship is to be the guy, to be someone who's there every single day, you know, constantly there all the time. CM Punk has been there, he has completely ignited the crowd, completely reinvented himself numbers of times. He was a heel, and he was a face, then he was a heel, he's constantly developing, then you got Paul Heyman, and you know, he's constantly changing what he's doing. The Rock shouldn't win the WWE title, and I just don't, I just don't think it should happen. Um, he just shouldn't win it. Um... But if he does win it, it would be good, you know, but, I mean, do you really think he's going to stay there for a long period of time if he's WWE Champion? I mean, we could actually see, if he does win it, you know, we might not turn up on certain Raws, and you're kind of like, right, where's the WWE Championship, you know, what's going to happen, you know, it's a bit pointless. Um, personally, I think CM Punk might will win it, because if The Rock is going to the Elimination Chamber, it makes more sense. Um, it makes a hell of a lot more sense. So that that's really what um, that's really all I got to discuss. So you know, if anyone wants to get a game, get Hitman Absolution. Um, so yeah, that's really all I got to say. Um, please subscribe, comment, and this is Joe Ross Two K Nine signing out.